Beloved child, listen closely to the message I have for you. There are forces at work in your life that seek to harm you and those you love. Recently, someone close to you consulted a seer, seeking answers about your life. This was no coincidence, but rather a sign that something deeper is unfolding behind the scenes. The enemy has noticed the goodness within you and seeks to destroy what I have planned for you. But know this, I am with you every step of the way, protecting you from all harm. If you heed this message and remain vigilant, no weapon formed against you will prosper. The enemy's focus is not just on you, but on those you hold dear. Someone like a child to you is at risk, and I need you to be on guard. There is deceit lingering in your midst, someone with hidden resentments plotting against the peace you've worked so hard to build. Do not let this darkness take root in your life. I have given you the tools to discern right from wrong, truth from lies. Trust your heart, for I speak to you through it. Be watchful, for if you ignore this warning, the consequences will be severe. I ask you now to take a moment and reflect. Have you noticed any tension rising between you and someone close to you? Perhaps a conversation or situation that left you uneasy? That is not by chance. The enemy uses moments of discord to enter our lives, causing division where there should be unity. Do not let these seeds of anger grow. Confront them with love and ask me to guide your words and actions. I will protect you from the snares laid out before you, but you must be willing to walk the path of peace and forgiveness. Protecting yourself in this spiritual battle means more than just being alert. It means nurturing the peace within your heart. You cannot fight darkness with darkness. Only light, my light, can drive it away. Do not let anger or fear take hold. Instead, cultivate love, compassion, and faith. When you walk with me, no evil can stand in your way. The angels are already surrounding you, ready to fight on your behalf. All you need to do is trust in me and stay close to my voice. There is someone near you whose intentions are not pure. They harbor hatred, envy, and malice in their heart. It is not your role to judge them, but to protect yourself from the harm they may cause. Distance yourself from their negativity and pray for their healing. Your spiritual health is your most precious possession, and you must guard it with all your strength. Seek my presence daily, for in my presence, you will find the protection and wisdom you need to navigate these troubled waters. Right, I am surrounded by God's protection and light. If you believe in my promise of safety and peace for you and your family today, you are living in the midst of a great spiritual battle, dear one, this is not a battle of flesh and blood, but one of spirit, where forces of light and darkness clash for your soul and the souls of those you love. Satan's plan is to drag you into suffering and despair, to tempt you away from the path I have laid out for you. But do not fear, for I have already won this battle. My love for you is stronger than any force that seeks to harm you. But you must choose to stand with me in faith and trust knowing that I am your shield and your fortress. The enemy is cunning, seeking to sow doubt, fear, and confusion in your heart. He will try to distract you with fleeting pleasures or overwhelming worries. Do not let these temptations take root. Every moment you spend in prayer, in reflection, in gratitude for the blessings I have given you weakens the enemy's hold over your life. Stay focused on what is eternal, my love, my peace, my truth. These are the things that will see you through any storm. This battle is not just yours to fight. The angels are fighting alongside you, and I am leading them. When you feel overwhelmed, remember that you are not alone. I have placed divine warriors around you, guiding you through every challenge and temptation. When you feel weak, Call on me, and I will give you strength. 
You are my beloved, and I will never abandon you in your time of need. Even in the darkest moments, I am with you, holding you close and leading you toward the light. In the midst of this battle, I ask you to focus on building your spiritual armor. Strengthen your faith through prayer, immerse yourself in my word, and surround yourself with people who lift you up, not tear you down. This world can be harsh, but I have not called you to walk through it alone. Look for my guidance in every situation, and when you feel uncertain, know that I am with you, whispering truth into your heart. Trust in me, and you will see victory, even when the road seems difficult. Remember, this battle is not just for today. The choices you make now will have lasting impacts on your future and the future of those around you. The enemy seeks to create division, to isolate you in your struggles. But I am calling you into unity, into community, where you will find the support and encouragement you need to stand strong. Do not allow yourself to be drawn into unnecessary conflict or bitterness. Instead, focus on peace, on love, on the truth that I have already spoken over your life. Right, I stand firm in God's strength. If you believe that my power is with you in this spiritual battle, and you will overcome. You once trusted and cared for is being driven by negative emotions. This resentment may have come from a misunderstanding, a hurtful word, or a moment of disappointment. Whatever the cause, it is now festering, growing into something that threatens to harm not just your relationship, but your peace and spiritual well-being. I see this, and I ask you to approach the situation with compassion and wisdom. Resentment is like a poison, slowly destroying the joy and love in a person's heart. If left unchecked, it can lead to betrayal, division, and suffering. But know this, healing is always possible with me. I can mend the deepest wounds and restore even the most broken relationships. But it requires both parties to be willing to forgive and to seek reconciliation. I urge you to seek out this person, to address the issues between you with love and understanding. Let my peace guide your words, and let my forgiveness soften your heart. Do not allow bitterness to take root in your soul. Bitterness is a tool of the enemy, used to create division where there should be unity. The enemy knows that when you are divided, you are weaker. But when you are united, when you walk in love and forgiveness, you are strong. Seek peace in every situation, and do not be afraid to confront difficult truths. I am with you, guiding you toward healing and restoration. You are not alone in this, I will give you the strength and wisdom you need to bring light into the darkness of resentment. There is also the matter of trust. When trust has been broken, it can be difficult to rebuild. But I ask you to remember that trust is rooted in love, and love is rooted in me. Do not close your heart to the possibility of healing. I am the God of restoration, and I can make all things new. If this person is willing, work together to rebuild what has been lost. Trust in my timing and my process. Healing may take time, but with me, it is always possible. However, if this person is not ready to reconcile, do not force the issue. Some relationships may need time and distance to heal. In those moments, continue to pray for them, but also protect your own peace. I do not ask you to carry the burden of their resentment alone. Place it in my hands and trust that I am working in their heart as well. Sometimes, the most loving thing you can do is to step back and allow me to work in ways that are beyond your understanding. Right, I forgive and release all bitterness. If you believe in my power to heal your relationships and restore your peace. In the midst of all life's challenges, I call you to cultivate a spirit of gratitude. Gratitude is more than just a feeling, it is a powerful spiritual tool. When you are thankful for the blessings in your life, even in the midst of trials, you open the door for even greater blessings to flow. 
Gratitude shifts your focus from what is lacking to what is abundant. It aligns your heart with mine, helping you see the world through the lens of love, joy, and abundance. I have given you so much, and there is more yet to come. When you focus on gratitude, the enemy's attempts to sow fear, doubt, and dissatisfaction in your life lose their power. Gratitude is like a shield that protects your heart from the lies of the enemy. The more thankful you are, the more peace you will feel. Peace is not something that the world can give, it is a gift from me. When you cultivate inner peace through gratitude, you create a sanctuary within your soul where the enemy cannot enter. I want you to live in that peace daily. Take time each day to reflect on the blessings in your life. What has brought you joy? What has brought you closer to me? Even in the midst of difficulties, there is always something to be thankful for. When you practice gratitude, you strengthen your connection with me. You open your heart to receive my love and my guidance. I am always speaking to you, always leading you toward greater joy and fulfillment. But it is through a heart of gratitude that you are able to truly hear my voice. Inner peace comes when you stop striving and start trusting. Trust in my plan for your life. Trust that even when things don't go as you expected, I am still in control. The enemy wants you to feel anxious, overwhelmed, and uncertain. But I am calling you into my peace, where you can rest in the knowledge that I am working all things for your good. When you surrender your worries to me, you make room for my peace to fill your heart and mind. Your spiritual health is deeply connected to your ability to live in gratitude and peace. When your heart is filled with thanksgiving, it is also filled with love, joy, and faith. These are the qualities that will sustain you through any storm. I do not promise a life without challenges, but I do promise that you will never face them alone. I am with you, and my peace will guard your heart and mind if you let it. Right, I am grateful for God's endless blessings. If you believe in the power of gratitude to transform your life and bring peace. Beloved, there are forces around you that seek to pull you away from the path I have set before you. These forces may come in the form of people, habits, or thoughts that do not align with my will for your life. They may seem harmless at first, but they carry the potential to lead you into confusion and darkness. I ask you to be discerning, to recognize when someone or something is leading you away from the peace, love, and purpose I have for you. The enemy often works through subtle means. He will disguise harmful influences as opportunities or relationships that seem beneficial. But if they are pulling you away from your true self, from the values I have instilled in you, they are not of me. You must guard your heart and mind against these influences. I have given you the ability to discern what is good and true. Listen to the gentle whispers of your soul, for that is where I speak to you. There may be people in your life who do not have your best interests at heart. They may be envious of your blessings, resentful of your peace, or indifferent to your well-being. These individuals may not always act out of malice, but their presence in your life can still cause harm. It is important to recognize when a relationship is no longer healthy or life-giving. You are not called to carry the burdens of others at the expense of your own spiritual health. Trust in me to give you the wisdom to distance yourself when necessary. Breaking free from negative influences also means breaking free from harmful habits. There may be patterns in your life that have kept you from experiencing the fullness of joy and peace that I have for you. These habits may seem small, but over time, they can create a barrier between you and the blessings I want to pour into your life. I ask you now to examine your heart and mind. Are there habits or thoughts that need to be surrendered to me? I am here to help you break free and walk in the light. This is not a journey you must take along. I am with you, guiding you every step of the way. 
I am also sending people into your life who will uplift and support you. Seek out relationships that encourage your growth, that bring you closer to me. Surround yourself with those who speak truth into your life, who remind you of your worth and your purpose. Together, we will walk the path of peace and light, far from the distractions and temptations of this world. Right, I walk in God's light, free from all negativity. If you believe that you can break free from harmful influences and walk in the fullness of my peace and purpose. Dear child, I know that there are times when you feel uncertain about the path ahead. Life can be filled with twists and turns, moments of confusion, and times when you may wonder if you are on the right track. But I want you to know that nothing in your life is by accident. Every experience, every challenge, and every blessing is part of the greater plan I have for you. I have seen your future, and it is filled with hope and purpose. It is easy to become discouraged when things don't go as you expected. You may feel as though you've lost your way, or that the dreams you once held dear are slipping away. But I ask you to trust in my timing. I see the whole picture, where you see only a part. What may seem like a setback is often a setup for something greater. Do not lose heart. I am working all things together for your good, even when you cannot yet see it. There is a purpose for your life, and it is unique to you. I have given you gifts, talents, and abilities that are meant to shine in this world. Do not hide them, and do not doubt their value. You were created with a specific purpose in mind, and that purpose is unfolding with every step you take. Trust that I am guiding you, even when the road seems unclear. I am with you in every decision, every action, every moment. As you walk through life, remember that your purpose is not tied to your achievements alone. It is found in how you love, how you serve, and how you live in alignment with my will. The world may tell you that success is measured by material gain or recognition, but I measure success by the love in your heart and the peace in your soul. Keep your eyes fixed on me, and you will never stray from the path of purpose I have set before you. Even in the quiet moments, when you feel like nothing is happening, I am working in your life. Seeds are being planted, and in time, they will bear fruit. Trust the process and trust that I am with you, guiding each step. When you feel uncertain, turn to me. Ask for my guidance, and I will show you the way. You are never alone in this journey. I am walking beside you, every step of the way, leading you toward the fulfillment of your divine purpose. Right, I trust in God's perfect plan for my life. If you believe that my purpose for you is unfolding in ways you cannot yet see, but will soon understand. This message is meant to remind you that you are not alone. You are loved, protected, and guided every moment of your life. Trust in me, and know that I am working all things for your good. Stay connected to my voice, and you will walk in peace and purpose every day of your life. My beloved child, you are constantly under my divine protection. Every step you take, every challenge you face, I am there, shielding you from harm and guiding you along the path of righteousness. The world may present dangers, both seen and unseen, but I want you to know that no harm can touch your soul when you walk in my light. The angels I have appointed over you are vigilant, standing guard against any threat that dares approach you. Trust in the power of my protection, for it is eternal and unwavering. There are forces in this world that seek to distract you from your purpose, to make you doubt my love and care for you. But do not let fear take root in your heart. Fear is not for me. It is a tool of the enemy, meant to rob you of your peace and your sense of security. When fear tries to creep into your life, call on me, and I will cast it out. I did not create you to live in fear, but in power, love, and a sound mind. Trust that I am your refuge and your fortress, a place where no evil can touch you. 
You may wonder why challenges still arise if I am protecting you. Understand that some trials are meant to strengthen you, to refine your spirit and prepare you for the greater purpose I have set before you. These moments of testing are not meant to break you, but to build you up in faith and endurance. Each obstacle is an opportunity to grow closer to me, to deepen your trust in my plan. Remember, no trial will ever be too much for you to bear, because I am with you, providing strength and wisdom in every situation. Do not look at the troubles around you with despair, but with the understanding that they are temporary. My protection extends beyond the physical, I am safeguarding your spirit and your eternal destiny. There may be times when you feel surrounded by difficulties, but know that I have already paved the way for your victory. Hold on to my promises, for they are unshakable. No matter what comes your way, you are more than a conqueror through me. There will be moments when the enemy tries to convince you that you are alone, that I have abandoned you. But this is the greatest lie of all. I am always with you. My protection never falters, even when you feel weak or afraid. In those moments, reach out to me in prayer. Speak to me, for I am listening. I will fill you with the peace that surpasses understanding and remind you that you are safe in my care. Right, I am protected by God's unfailing love. If you believe that my shield surrounds you, guarding you from all harm. Child, I see the hurt you carry, the pain that has been inflicted upon you by others. Betrayal, harsh words, broken promises, these are wounds that run deep. But I want you to know that healing is possible through the power of forgiveness. Forgiveness is not just about freeing the one who has hurt you, it is about freeing yourself from the chains of bitterness and resentment. When you hold on to anger, it poisons your spirit and keeps you bound to the past. I am calling you to release this burden and find peace in your heart. Forgiving someone does not mean excusing their behavior or pretending that the hurt didn't happen. It is acknowledging the pain, but choosing to let go of the desire for revenge or justice in your own hands. When you forgive, you place this situation in my hands, trusting that I will bring true justice and healing in my time and in my way. You are not meant to carry the weight of unresolved anger. Lay it down at my feet, and I will carry it for you. Forgiveness is not always easy. It requires strength and humility, both of which I can give you. Pray for those who have wronged you, even when it feels difficult. Ask me to soften your heart and give you the grace to forgive. As you do this, you will find that the chains of bitterness begin to loosen and the peace of my spirit fills the spaces where anger once lived. Remember, forgiveness is a journey, not a one-time event. Each day, choose to forgive and let go, and I will help you heal. Forgiving does not mean allowing toxic people to continue hurting you. Boundaries are necessary for your well-being, and I encourage you to protect yourself from those who seek to harm you. Forgiveness is not about remaining in harmful situations, it is about freeing your heart from the pain so that you can move forward in love and peace. I will guide you in establishing these boundaries and give you the wisdom to navigate difficult relationships. As you walk in forgiveness, you will find that healing begins to flow in every area of your life. Your relationships will grow stronger, your heart will feel lighter, and your spirit will be refreshed. Forgiveness is a gift, both to yourself and to others. It is a reflection of my love for you, a love that forgives you endlessly and without condition. As you have been forgiven, so too are you called to forgive. Right, I forgive and release all burdens. If you believe in my power to help you forgive and heal the wounds of your heart, faith is the key that unlocks the doors to all the blessings I have for you, my child. Faith is believing in what you cannot yet see, trusting in what I have promised, even when the circumstances around you seem to contradict it. It is through faith that you connect with me and draw on my power to move mountains in your life. 
Do not be afraid to walk in faith, even when the path ahead is uncertain. I am with you, guiding you every step of the way. Faith is not about having all the answers, it's about trusting in me, the one who holds all things together. There will be moments in your life when the way forward seems unclear, when the obstacles appear insurmountable. But it is in these moments that faith shines brightest. When you take a step forward, even in the face of uncertainty, you are declaring that you trust me more than the circumstances. And I will never let your faith be in vain. Your faith will be tested, but do not let this discourage you. Tests of faith are opportunities for growth. Each time you choose faith over fear, your spirit is strengthened, and your relationship with me deepens. When you feel your faith wavering, call out to me. I will renew your strength and remind you of the countless times I have been faithful to you in the past. You have already overcome so much, and I have been with you every step of the way. Let this give you confidence as you move forward. Faith also requires patience. My timing is perfect, and I ask you to trust in it even when it feels like the answers are delayed. What may seem like a delay to you is often a period of preparation. I am aligning everything in your favor even when you cannot yet see it. Wait on me, for I am never late. Continue to walk in faith, knowing that I am orchestrating everything for your good. Do not underestimate the power of your faith. It is through faith that miracles happen, that breakthroughs are realized, and that lives are transformed. When you believe, even in the face of the impossible, you open the door for me to work in ways you never thought possible. Your faith moves my heart, and I delight in showing you my power and goodness. Stay rooted in faith, and watch as I make a way where there seems to be no way. Right, I walk by faith, not by sight. If you believe that my promises will be fulfilled in your life through faith. My beloved child, there is great power in humility. The world may teach you to seek recognition, to strive for status and acclaim, but I call you to a different path, the path of humility and service. True greatness is not found in elevating yourself above others, but in serving others with a heart of love and compassion. When you humble yourself before me and others, you open the door for my grace to flow abundantly in your life. Humility is the key to experiencing the fullness of my presence and my blessings. Humility does not mean thinking less of yourself, but thinking of yourself less. It is understanding that all you have comes from me and that your purpose is to use your gifts and talents to bless others. When you serve with a humble heart, you reflect my love to the world. It is through acts of service, both big and small, that you spread my light and bring hope to those around you. Never underestimate the impact of a kind word, a helping hand, or a selfless act of love. Pride can be a stumbling block on your spiritual journey. It blinds you to your need for me and others, creating walls where there should be connection. But when you walk in humility, you are open to learning, growing, and receiving the grace I long to pour into your life. Humility allows you to recognize your own limitations and to rely on my strength rather than your own. In your weakness, my power is made perfect. Do not fear acknowledging your need for me, it is through this vulnerability that you will find true strength. As you serve others, you will find that your own needs are met in ways you never expected. There is a divine principle at work, when you pour out love and service, I pour back into you, multiplied. The more you give, the more you will receive. But remember, it is not about seeking rewards for yourself, it is about giving from a heart that desires to bless and uplift others. As you do this, I will take care of your every need, just as I take care of the birds of the air and the flowers of the field. Service is a reflection of my heart. I came to serve, not to be served, and I call you to follow my example. 
When you serve others with humility, you align yourself with my purposes and experience the joy of living a life that truly matters. There is no greater fulfillment than knowing you have made a difference in the lives of those around you. Let your life be a living testimony of my love, shining brightly in a world that so desperately needs it. Right, I serve with a humble heart. If you believe in the power of humility and service to bring you closer to me and to others. My precious child, life is a journey, and I want you to find joy along the way. Too often, people become so focused on the destination that they miss the beauty of the path they are walking. But I am not just in the end result, I am with you in every step of the journey. I want you to experience joy, even in the ordinary moments, because it is through these moments that you will come to know me more deeply. Joy is not reserved for when everything is perfect, it is available to you right now. True joy comes from knowing that I am with you, that you are never alone, and that you are deeply loved. When you are rooted in this truth, joy flows naturally, regardless of your circumstances. I want you to experience the fullness of life, to laugh, to celebrate, and to find beauty in the world around you. Even in difficult times, you can find joy in my presence, for I am the source of all true happiness. Do not wait for life to be perfect to experience joy. Choose joy today, knowing that I am with you always. There will be challenges along the way, but do not let them steal your joy. The enemy seeks to distract you with worry, fear, and doubt, but I am calling you to a higher perspective. Lift your eyes to me, and let your heart be filled with the joy that comes from trusting in my plan. Joy is not dependent on external circumstances, it is a gift from me, available to you at all times. The more you focus on me, the more your joy will grow, even in the midst of trials. Joy is also found in gratitude. When you take the time to thank me for the blessings in your life, both big and small, you cultivate a heart of joy. Gratitude shifts your focus from what you lack to what you have been given, and it opens the door for even greater blessings to flow. Each day, I want you to take a moment to reflect on the good things in your life and to thank me for them. As you do this, you will find that joy becomes a constant companion, no matter what comes your way. Do not rush through life, always looking to the next goal or the next achievement. Slow down and enjoy the journey. I have placed beauty all around you, and I want you to take the time to notice it. Whether it's in a sunrise, a kind word from a friend, or a quiet moment of reflection, my joy is there, waiting for you to embrace it. Life is not just about the destination, it's about the moments along the way where you experience my love, my peace, and my joy. Right, I find joy in God's presence. If you believe that my joy is with you, even in the ordinary moments of life. My beloved child, I know the fears that sometimes grip your heart. Fear of the unknown, fear of failure, fear of rejection. These are the tools the enemy uses to keep you from walking fully in the purpose I have for you. But I want you to remember this, I did not give you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Fear has no place in the life of one who walks with me. I am your strength, your protector, and your guide, and with me by your side, you have nothing to fear. Courage is not the absence of fear but the choice to move forward in spite of it. When you face your fears with faith, you are declaring that you trust me more than the circumstances around you. I am with you in every challenge, every uncertainty, and every trial. I will give you the courage you need to face whatever comes your way. Do not let fear paralyze you. Take that step forward, even if it feels small, and watch as I open doors you never thought possible. Fear often comes from focusing on what you cannot control. But I want you to shift your focus to what you can control, your faith, your trust in me, and your attitude. When you place your trust in me, fear loses its power. I have already gone before you, 
preparing the way. Nothing that happens to you is beyond my control. I hold your future in my hands, and I will guide you through every storm. When fear tries to creep in, remind yourself of my promises and stand firm in the knowledge that I am with you. Courage also comes from knowing who you are in me. You are my child, loved, cherished, and chosen. No fear can change that. The enemy will try to make you doubt your worth, to make you feel inadequate or unworthy of the blessings I have for you. But these are lies. You are more than enough because I am more than enough and I live within you. Stand tall, knowing that you are fearfully and wonderfully made, equipped for every good work I have prepared for you. As you walk in courage, you will inspire others to do the same. Your bravery in the face of fear will be a testimony of my power and faithfulness. Do not be afraid to take risks, to step out of your comfort zone, and to pursue the dreams I have placed in your heart. I am with you, and I will never let you fail. Even when things do not go as you planned, trust that I am working all things for your good. Courage is not about being fearless, it's about trusting me enough to face your fears head on. Right, I am courageous through God's strength. If you believe that my power gives you the courage to overcome all fear,